how I created this endless eye transition using Video Leap. First, I had to shoot two shots in different locations. For the first one, I was in my room and fell backwards onto my bed to get this shot. The second one was shot in the street by having the camera start far away and then slowly walk towards me. This will be sped up later. After I had my two clips, I brought them into a new video leap project and split them at the points I wanted them to start at, discarding the unwanted sections. I then selected the second clip and navigated to the speed tool and increased it to the max. For the clip where I fall backwards, I wanted to reverse it to create this quick upwards motion. Next, I created a subtle zoom animation by using the keyframe tool where I wanted the zoom to start, then moving to the end of the clip and zooming in. Next, while having the timeline marker at the very end of the clip, I clicked the freeze tool which creates a still clip. I trimmed the still clip to a little under one second in length. Then I navigated to Mixer, which brought the clip up to a new layer. Next, I clicked the Mask tool, selected Circular Mask, and inverted it. I then resized it and positioned it on the pupil of my eye. Then, from the beginning of the clip, I added a keyframe. Then I moved to the end of the clip and zoomed all the way into the eye until only the bottom layer was visible. The animation wasn't quite perfect, so I backtracked through the clip, adding several keyframe markers to keep the eye centered in the frame. Now for the second clip, I once again created a subtle zoom animation using keyframes. And then again used the freeze tool to create a still clip, which I brought up to the mixer layer. Then to create a seamless loop, I went to the beginning of the sequence and split off the first few seconds of the clip, and then dragged it under the last clip in the timeline. I once again used a circular mask in the pupil of the eye, and used keyframes to zoom all the way into the eye, revealing the bottom layer. Now, when the sequence is played back in a loop, it will look like this. 